What's going on, people? This is Influence, and today I want to talk about something that's a little tiny bit serious, but not, you know, we're not going to be super serious about it, you know me, but it is kind of triggering for some folks because it's collection addiction. I know addiction can be, you know, a, a tough topic for some people, and, and some people may not uh, consider this a real addiction, but it is for some people. So, Let's get on with it. Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe. I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. First, I want to establish like addiction. There's different levels of addiction, and I'm not trying to be little people who are addicted to substances that have physical addictions. Um, those are super bad and you have physical withdrawal from coming off of them and they're actually you know it, it's that's one of the reasons why it's so hard to kick an addiction like that so i, I just want to say that first because i know there's a lot of people that struggle with that whether it's alcohol drugs hard drugs whatever it is whatever it is um you know i'm not here to judge i'm not here to I'm not here to judge any of it for one but i also want to be mindful because you know i have family members that struggled and and people i know friends that struggle so again i don't want i don't want to be little or or make that subject a little bit uh less important however this you can be addicted to anything i don't think people understand th the level of addiction that you can have to anything video games sex porno uh porn's a big one because of you know the ease of of getting it and it's basically like your dopamine serotonin all that all that good stuff all your brain chemicals you know that you learn in science and maybe pseudoscience or whatever you feel but it is real and these chemicals react to stuff that we do you be addicted to social media i'm 100 percent addicted to social media i i find myself opening it and not even realizing how i got here like it's real and i'm trying to get better with it um, but with collection addiction comes other stuff. And the reason I know it's, it's out there is because I see people posting about, it. I see people posting videos about it. I see people posting on social media about it. I, I've seen a few videos of people talking about they're stopping totally because of it. And, you know, it, it's some hard questions you got to ask yourself. I I'm not, I don't think I'm at that level right now hello oh sorry i turned auto tune on by mistake Hall. turn it off <laughs> my bad um yeah so i i think at one point i was on the cusp of it becoming bad i think the first question you have to ask about uh collection addiction is if to understand if you truly are addicted is one are you spending money on this stuff that you don't have and i'm not just talking about credit card debt everybody has a little credit card debt and i'm not mad at the person that has a little tiny bit of credit card debt from this stuff but if you're getting into like the thousands and close to like the ten thousands you might want to might want to check yourself you might want to look at that but i'm talking not paying your bills uh stressing over whatever the electric like stuff like that like electric gas whatever your house runs on uh mine happen to runs on both unfortunately uh and stuff like that rent <laughs> rent mortgage things of that nature where you could be homeless or out of heat and air conditioning and lights because you're buying figures or whatever you're into that's when you need to really uh, say to yourself, like, what is going on and what am I doing? Also think part of that part of it is hiding it. Like, I know we all have different spouses, significant others, whatever it may be. They have different levels of comfortability with us collecting toys. You know, I know people don't like to say toys, but that's basically what it is. It's high and high price toys, which is another reason they may have an issue with it. However, if 
you know, if, if they do, for one, if you do have an issue, if, if your significant other does have an issue with it, it's a little bit more than just saying, oh, well, that's their problem. Like, that's that's not a good way to be in a relationship for one. For two, it, it's a wake up call to really like uh, look at yourself and see maybe this ain't the right expenditure <laughs> or, or the right thing that I'm spending my money on. Uh, and also, and, and if you look at that and you're like, no, nah, I got the discretionary income. I have the, you know, disposable income to do this stuff. Well, then, then I think you should have a real conversation with your, your significant other and let them kind of understand. They might not understand. It's just like, like me, I don't understand buying, say, um, uh, handbags just just to put it out there not that i care like I don't, I don't care like i said like whatever discretionary income she has and she wants to buy a handbag that's fine with me i i personally i don't see it again some people don't see it to buy sneakers or shoes it, it's the same thing like people buying sneakers the same thing as a woman buying shoes or vice versa or whatever whatever or a woman buying sneakers if she likes sneakers and, and do buy shoes i don't know but whatever it is footwear if if you know some people don't understand that some people wear the same shoe every day and they're like why you need to buy 50 shoes <laughs> i think you should have a conversation you need to sit down and really un really kind of talk to them and have a conversation about how much this stuff does mean to you and how much you enjoy it as a hobby um if you're there if you're on where the where your your significant other is not really understanding why you're you're buying this stuff or you know thinks it's a waste of money or whatever and, and you know that's another topic waste of money or what because <laughs> I, I go you go through cycles i think every collector goes through cycles of looking around and saying what the hell am i doing sometimes um most collectors anyway i'm not gonna say every uh but the other thing is if you you may really need to look at yourself like i said and and ask yourself if they are right if they're not then then you have that conversation but i think that's like the two biggest ones is is spending money that you don't have and when i say don't have i mean really don't have but you're still buying this stuff um and also hiding it uh, i think that's some of the two biggest tail signs that it may be getting out of hand uh, but I, like i said i can't judge everybody's situation so that may not be what it is the other thing is you may have a somewhat physical reaction to not getting the stuff because it's all dopamine <laughs> it's all dopamine hit and if you if you get irritable and down you know everybody's down when they can't get that that latest thing that they want because they can't afford it but i think that's a healthy down because you understand that this is something that you're not you can't really spend the money on so you're kind of down because you can't get it because you can't afford it whatever that is but i think that's healthy that's a healthy uh way to way to look at it is it it's only unhealthy when you're like down like irritable and upset and mad and maybe throwing stuff like like that's extreme but it, it could get there it could get there i watched the video of, of this guy i wish i knew who it was because i would like to tag him because it was a great video I, I think i'm gonna try to find it but he he spoke about this like his attitude and him if i don't find it sorry um kind of look around i'm gonna try to look at my history because I, I watched the video uh but he he talked about his attitude and how he was feeling when he couldn't buy stuff and sometimes he would buy or he would like try to fill out for another credit card just to get it and then he's getting himself into more debt and he has he's like living he was living with his mom at the time and he was trying to move out now now i don't judge that like living, living i i had to move home when i was uh 28 or so and i stayed there until i was like 30 after I graduated, well, after I graduated school and stuff, I couldn't, you know, I just wasn't making it. it was a lot of stuff going on at that time. So that stuff, I don't, I don't judge it too much, but it's just the extracurricular and you should have fun. 
I'm not saying don't have fun. No matter what your situation is, you need that fun. If you can scrape up some dollars to have some fun, whether it's collecting, whether it's going out to eat with your peoples or going to the movies, whatever that is, everybody deserves fun. Just because you're poor don't mean you don't you don't deserve fun or just because you might not have the discretionary funds to do it. Everybody deserves that fun. I don't, I don't want that to be an issue, but there's an issue when you're like trying to save up for a goal and instead you're you're maybe buying this and and the other tall tale sign i believe is not the feeling I, I think that's what you should pay attention to some people are just buying stuff out of uh addiction like i said or habit which habit addiction can go hand in hand they're they're just buying stuff because they're used to buying the, the new thing. I was there, and that's that's what I mean when I say that I think I was on the cusp of maybe an addiction because at one point I was buying things, even though I had the discretionary income to afford it and still take care of everything in my household that was that was important, and I didn't have much debt. However, I still was just buying it because it was new and it was coming out and it was, and I, I like to tell myself at one point I was just doing it for the channel. Uh, but really it, it, that it was that somewhat, but at the same time it was stuff like now, like I, I'm, I'm not buying stuff that I don't want, don't need, not even for the channel. A lot of times, sometimes I do if it's something big, which I, it comes to my, uh, I'm having a giveaway. So y'all seeing this video, y'all are uh, privy to knowing first. I'm giving away the Titan class Armada. So, I, but I'm, I'm doing a different video for that giveaway, but you just giving a little sneak peek. But that's one of the things I bought for the channel and that I didn't really want. I think it's cool, but I'm, I'm not going to put it anywhere. I'm not going to display it. I've been had it was on my bar for like three weeks. Or since I got it, I don't know if it's three weeks ago. Uh, I'm not sure, but it, it it just it's not serving me. So I want to give it away to the people of this channel who it may serve, who may not have the discretionary income to get it because it is expensive. Uh, but I digress on that matter. There'll be another video again. Getting back to the addiction part. I, I don't want to make this video too long because it's not really a, a whole lot. It could be a whole conversation if if i had interaction like with someone else that's in the collecting space or a few people that's in the collecting space uh maybe i keep saying this and i'm sorry y'all i know i know i keep saying i'm gonna start going live on a regular and i am i promise you and i promise you winter is coming and i, I promise you i'm going live even if it's when winter hits when winter starts to hit and i'm in the house more I wanted to throw it out there so people can start thinking about it because it is it, I, I didn't think I, I haven't thought about it a lot until I saw those videos, which were a couple months ago. And I I kind of understood more. I, I knew I know anything can be an addiction, but there's certain things that when your lifestyle and, and that's what I leave you all with. If your life it's if your lifestyle's taking a hit, if it's a detrimental thing for you to buy this stuff, whatever it is you collect, whatever the extra stuff, and that goes for anything, anything. If if you're throwing caution to the wind, you're buying this stuff and you can't, your your car's about to get repoed, you you about to get kicked out, and you're still buying this stuff or whatever, about to get evicted, and you're still buying this stuff. I think you should you should think about it. Uh, look look into it. Uh, I mean, priorities, pri priorities. If you're prioritizing and, and things are flo floating and, and you're OK, I say, hey, go for it. Do whatever you want with your your disposable income. Um, Save it. I, I say try to get good savings. That's another thing. If you don't have a good savings and you're still getting in debt behind this stuff, you might want to think about that, too. All right, so 
this video is going to come to a close. Not not too long. It is a little deeper topic. I, I could go into it more. But like I say, I, li I like having things, people to discuss it with. So leave me any comments. Let me know how you're feeling about this topic. Some people might not think it's real. Like you, and, and let me know if you think that. I, I have no problem with that. You know, we can discuss it. We can agree to di disagree. However, I do think personally that it is real and it's a topic that is interesting and may apply to you all right so thanks for watching this video and next week is no not next week next week i'm on vacation not that i'm putting out a ton uh, a ton of videos anyhow however i probably won't be putting out too many videos even if uh, i think there's a few things that might come next week but the following week is njcc anybody that's coming down i will be there probably both days or friday saturday i don't know sunday too maybe the 23rd to the 25th so i'll probably be there all three days i'll definitely be there friday and saturday friday night and saturday for the realm events uh also if you're coming um kenny's village is doing a toy drive so don't forget to buy toys or new unwrapped toys and they're for any age so don't just think that you can you know you need to buy like for big transformers or anything like they they do all ages so just just get anything any toys uh that you can donate please donate they always do a great job uh and it's a great cause i will get up with you guys in another one you know Life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.